Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can automate the process of cross-site scripting to find more vulnerabilities related to XSS. But before going into this video, as always if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how, how we can find hidden contents in a particular web application or a server and what is the effective and better way to uh, you know find contents in a web application then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen also for those who are new to our channel and if you haven't checked out our website which is bepractical.tech then you are missing a lot so just go and type bepractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our awesome website over here as you can see we have awesome contents related to cyber security as well as web development as you can see information disclosure http method enumeration and so on and if you head over to the lab section in the cyber security then you will see that we have currently 10 labs based on account takeovers and all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so basically in these labs you will learn that how hackers can actually hack into a, anyone's account because of the misconfiguration in web application itself so all of these labs are based on real world scenarios and are absolutely free so go ahead and check it out and increase your cyber security skills now without further ado let's get started now the tool that we are going to use in this particular video is known as XSS Strike. So the link is given in the description of this tool. So you can just click on that or you can just type XSS Strike and GitHub. After that, you have to click on the very first link, which is this most advanced XSS scanner. So if you are thinking that why we are using this tool, so we are basically using this because it has a lot of functionality to offer for a user and it can also do a bunch of extra stuff like it can look for blind accesses and it can also create a dynamic payload according to the target right so if the input is reflecting in the input tag then it is going to test for different uh, payloads and if the input is directly reflecting in a plain html then it is going to use some different payload so this is the reason why that we are going to use xss strike and we are going to see that how we can use uh, this tool to automate the process of xss by creating our own bash script so just copy this and open your Kali Linux machine over here. And by the way, if you don't know how to install Kali Linux directly on Windows without the need of VMware or VirtualBox, then go ahead and check out this video of mine, which is uh, appearing at the right side of the screen. And you will learn that how we can install it. So let's just clone it for now. So just type git clone XSS strike. Here it is. Hit enter. And it will just get cloned in your machine depending on your internet connection as you can see it has been cloned now and just type cd xss strike and here we are and now the first thing that we need to do is we need to install all the requirements to run this particular tool so we need to type pip3 install minus r requirements dot txt hit enter and again, as you can see, in my case, the requirements has already been satisfied. So it is not installing anything else. But in your case, it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection, right? Let me just clear it. And let us try to understand how we can use this tool. So what are the main features of this tool? As you can see over here, so it can scan for reflected and DOM accesses. It can have multi-thread, which means we can increase the speed of this particular tool. It can analyze the different contexts, configure configurable code. We can also configure it as per our choice. It can also detect web application firewall and it can uh, sometimes it can just bypass a web application firewall to you know execute cross-site scripting it can also scan outdated javascript and it has an intelligent intelligent payload generator as i've told you before and a lot of things are over here as you can see the, uh, it can also brute force payload from a file and so many things so now let us try to see that how we can use this tool so again for the sake of demonstration i'm going to use a uh, user's website which is testphp.vulnerweb.com and let us see if it can uh, find some vulnerabilities in it so i'm just going to copy it and as always as i've I always told you that in order to understand that how to use a tool you can simply just go to github or you can simply type minus h flag we will show you all the functionalities available for us as you can see we need to specify minus u for the user uh, for the target we can also pass data we can also encode payload so we, we also have puzzles we have update to update it to the latest version we have timeout proxy crawl json so many things are over here right but the important things are minus u and uh, minus l for the uh, level of crawling and we have minus t for the thread so we can increase the speed and we have minus minus crawl right 
so we're going to use all these uh, uh, options to see how we can use this tool to find vulnerabilities so our target over here is test php.malware.com so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type python 3 xss strike minus u http the target which is test php dot well web dot com and i'm gonna go with crawl so that it will automatically scan for uh, all the links and it will start looking into uh, looking xss into them right and i'm going to pass minus l for the level and i'm going to set the level to four the more level you set the more it will going to crawl and scan for xss so i'm just going to hit enter and let's see what happens after that as you can see it is parsing and it has found something right so it has found some potential vulnerable object at this ajax index.php and if you go down you can see that there is a vulnerable page right and there is a vector search for which seems to be vulnerable so let, us, let us just copy this and paste it in the browser and we need to look for where this uh, vector search for is right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the console and over here I'm going to just find the given vector which was search for search for and as you can see here it is and it is uh, reflecting over here which means this field is what seems to be vulnerable to XSS what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to uh, type a normal payload and let's see what happens after that so script alert one script that close let's click on go and as you can see our payload has been executed successfully right so again let's see some other uh, here it is some other link let me just copy it and let me paste it in the browser here we are and it is a uh, the vector is cat over here right so we can just pass cat in the parameter and just type script alert and script that close and let's see what happens after that let's just wait for a few seconds and as you can see we successfully got the xss executed right so this is how we can use this tool so this is one way of using this tool but the more advanced and uh, better way to use this tool is to uh, automate it using your uh, bash scripting right let us see that how we can automate this whole stuff so i'm going to type echo the target which is testphp dot worldweb.com so this will be our target and the first thing so let me just open notepad real quick so we are going to apply a simple algorithm over here so first we have the target in the second step what we are going to do we are going to uh, find all the possible links all possible links using uh, GAU or uh, maybe Katana or Wayback URLs right and the third thing is to uh, use XSS strike on all the links that we've gathered so far so use XSS strike on all these links so this is a simple algorithm that we are going to use to automate this process of XSS finding. So echo the target, for example over here the target is testphp.wellweb.com. I am going to use the pipe, so I am going to forward this output of this particular command to another command which is GAU, right? And now we know that GAU will return bunch of links, right? So we are going to pass the bunch of links to XSS strike but what we want is we want to uh, execute xss strike on each link one by one so for that we are going to use uh, while read url so this read is going to read each uh, each output each link one by one then for each url we want to execute xss strike right so we are going to type python 3 xss strike minus u and over here we have to pass dollar url and that's it I then type semicolon and after that we are going to type done and this is pretty much it this is how you can use bash to automate the process of 
uh, exercise finding. So let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that. Or you can just use the uh, more features like crawl, uh, like minus L2, and it totally depends on you. But I'm I'm just going to show you that how we can automate it using a bash scripting. So this is the simple bash command that we need to follow. So the first command is going to return testphp.vulnerweb.com. Then it is going to be passed in GAU and the GAU will return all the links uh, from the passive crawling. And then for each link, we are going to execute XSS strike. I guess you all have understood it. Now let's hit enter and let's see what, hap what happens after that. So there's some syntax error, no worries. Just uh, let me just get rid of, rid, get rid of this. And okay, so I think there is some small issue over here. So just type done. Here we are. So yeah, so we need to specify do over here. So there is one syntax error that is do. Now let's type do. So while read URL, we have to do this particular task, and after that. When the task is completed, we just simply need to complete the task or done. So let's hit enter. Let's see what happens after that. And now you'll see that XSS strike is going to execute uh, each link on each link and it's going to test for XSS over there. Right now, there's one small issue in it that the GAU will fetch all the links which contains uh, parameters or a plain link, right? So you need to filter that out as well. So you can write your custom script uh, for that as well. I'm not going to show you as of now, maybe in future video, I'm going to show you that how we can use that. But for now, this is how we can automate the process of XSS hunting by XSS strike. All right. So I'm just going to pause it for now because it's going to take a lot of time actually. So just going to stop it or you can use any other tools like Katana and etc. Right. So this is how we can automate the process of XSS finding. If you guys have any doubts, if you guys have any issues, then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going in cybersecurity and web development. The link will be displaying over here as well as you can see it in the link given in, uh, given in the description. Now, if you like the way I teach, then I am currently running, running two courses. The first one is hacking windows with Python from scratch, wherein you will learn that how hackers can actually create payloads and malwares using Python that can hack any windows machine that can easily bypass any antivirus till now that can execute system commands, access webcams, download and upload files and so many things. And the second course which I am running is bug bounty, the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers, where you will learn that how to dive deep into the application to find misconfiguration that will result in account takeovers and both of these course are based on practical scenarios and you will learn a lot of things from there so if you are interested then go ahead and check the, these courses out the link is given in the description and with that being said thanks for watching and keep being awesome